Datacore is five years old. We've survived and prospered through the dot-com bubble, the worst IT economy in memory, and Datacore has acquired major business partners such as IBM, Fujitsu, Hitachi, and others. Our customer list is simply impeccable. While other ventures have fallen by the wayside and powerful vendors stumbled, Datacore has grown stronger each day. Datacore has garnered major awards, accolades, and analyst recommendations. With over 180 employees and offices in the world's major technology centers, Datacore has satisfied a growing list of enterprise customers with new and innovative storage products. Datacore has proven that commodity class hardware combined with Datacore's world-class enterprise level software can outperform, outlast, and provide better ROI than the proprietary solutions offered by today's dominant vendors. After five years of success, it's appropriate to look back and reflect upon the elements of Datacore's success. And as we look back, it is equally important to look forward to the next five years of Datacore's products, plans, and future successes. It's been an interesting five years. When we started five years ago, people were saying this stuff couldn't even be done. We were the first guys out there with a complete storage controller, if you would, in software. We are the first out there with performance, and when I say performance, uh, recent results from Evaluator Group and from other benchmarks have shown that we typically increase performance of all storage by a factor of 3x or more. We are now recognized as the leaders in virtualization. We've got hundreds of sites, and more importantly, they're global enterprise storage sites with customer names from Lufthansa to Daimler-Benz to Amerigroup to Nippon Telephone and Telegraph to France Telecom. When I look at folks like U.S. Customs for Alcatel, on and on and on, what you see is customers that have not only realized that virtualization is a way to optimize their storage interconnectivity, but then really took advantage of the advanced features we offered, i.e. performance, making everything that is attached on storage three times faster. Automatic provisioning, the ability to take any storage that is in that complex and allow it to be provisioned automatically to your applications and not have to take down those application servers when you need to add more storage. The ability to do snapshots and remote disaster recovery be between an EMC and an IBM or an EMC and an HP without thinking about the details or the specifics of a particular vendor's offering. Those are the key challenges and frankly we're the only ones that succeeded in accomplishing that. And that's been proven by the fact that again, the major partners that have invested or have purchased from Datacore and are reselling the data core product have pumped in tens of millions of dollars into our technology so that they can resell our products. Likewise, the hundreds of customers that on a daily basis are seeing the economic benefits of our solution. Those are the real proof. Right now, we are, um, we are as good or better than any high-end controller on earth in terms of our basic functionality. We're faster. We're more highly available. Uh, we can build systems that are of a high availability nature that no single box solutions can come close to. We're more scalable. We are far cheaper. And we have um, equivalent or much better uh, uh, feature function on high-end storage applications than any of them. On top of that, we're portable. You can change us out as you like. Um, we uh, can be revolutionized by the changes in hardware every 18 months without any impact to us whatsoever. It's basic performance. It's basic reliability. It's the robustness of the product. And the key for us was really to get the customer base, to get the satisfaction of those customers, and to prove ourselves in the market. So our vision was real simple. What if I could take all the functions and features and performance of the high-end storage, the features like snapshot, disaster recovery, the performance, and more importantly, the robustness and reliability of products like the EMCs, the Hitachi Lightnings, the IBM Sharks. What if you could bring that functionality to bear on standard Intel platforms and deliver the price performance that's required in the market? but now allow those storage services to become network-wide storage services. In effect, universal storage services 
that could be used across any storage device, across any uh, uh, type of switch, and across any infrastructure, whether IP or fiber channel, to manage an entire infrastructure of storage. That was our vision. Everybody talks about the commoditization of disks and the declining prices and I can always buy more disk. But that doesn't solve the fundamental problem of where most of a company's investment in storage is going. And it's not in the asset component, it's going in the management component. So as cheap as disk gets, it doesn't take away the complexity that remains in that environment. And that's where Datacore comes in. We have this intensely capable software platform um, that we can develop on with confidence we can attack the storage problem yet again from different directions. Our ability to not only provide the advanced features and functions, the performance, but to stay continually ahead of the competition has been the real distinction of Datacore. It's a credit to our architecture, it's a credit to our engineering team. Frankly, we have really the top folks in the industry in this space. These folks have tremendous expertise from both an engineering standpoint, they understand high availability, they understand the, the core requirements of storage. Where I think Datacore is, is opportunely positioned is on an objective measure, companies can justify investments in our technology because the ROI is clearly measurable, is real, and does enable them to do things much more cost effectively uh, with any type of equipment than anything they can do today. So I think there's a compelling value proposition that in good times and bad uh, remains fulfillable by Datacore. So when you look at what we offer, it truly is a network storage platform. And what I mean by that, it is universal storage services for things like snapshot, for performance, for disaster recovery, again, across all storage classes. We didn't have the burden of the past. We came here with a clean slate of paper and were able to build an architecture that was wide open and could encompass all of the high-end storage features from all of the manufacturers so that it could be applied across all of the different vendors' products around in the marketplace. That was a luxury that most of those vendors did not have in place. Datacore's ability to, to service universally all that high-end equipment to leverage its technology into the lower end, it really is capable of bringing something to the market that will continue to add to the evolution and bring more you know, economics to the end user. Storage will become an application like databases, but the dominance of specific hardware solutions will be replaced by the profound advantage of standard hardware which continues to advance and elaborate software which continues to automate that which can be automated and abstracts that which can be abstracted. But in the end, what it will really do is it will rationalize and standardize the storage industry like it has the rest of the computing industry. It'll look like everything else. That's not a bad thing. That's a terrific thing. <laughs> in fact, uh, in some ways, storage is the boat anchor of the computing industry. And uh, hauling it up <laughs> is probably overdue. And then obviously the question becomes how we enhance the investment returns that our investors have and how we leverage Datacore uh, horizontally or vertically into other areas. And so those will be exciting times for the company uh, once we've achieved that success. We've just had a look at five years of success at Datacore. Hard work, great partners, world-class customers, and innovative products have been the key to Datacore's success. With the founding of Datacore, the storage market was fundamentally changed as Datacore's products spread across the world and across the enterprise. The market will continue to evolve away from proprietary lock-in solutions and towards open, integrated, always available and highly cost-effective solutions. During the past five years, Datacore has taken the lead in changing this market. Our commitment to you is to continue Datacore's leadership in open network storage solutions. The past five years have been very good for Datacore, and we look forward to the next five years of continued success.